everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of Ark Survival Evolved. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. I am doing absolutely glorious today, my friends. I really, really am. Guys, thank you so much for all of the support you guys have been showing the series. I truly, truly do appreciate it, guys. If we can keep it up with a thousand likes per episode, that would be more than enough to tell me that you guys are enjoying seeing these on a daily basis and want to continue seeing more. I know I'll start off every episode by saying thank you, but honestly, guys, I truly do appreciate it. You guys absolutely blow me away with just how much support you guys show. So thank you, truly. So, guys, today we're starting off with that uh, dino gateway there because obviously it'll be a great way to allow uh, Sarko to get out into the water so we can go out to Herbivore Island, right? So, yeah. Okay, so in here we have ourselves some cementing paste on the go, which is obviously really good because we need it for the Sarko saddle, don't we? So... Hide is something we are requiring right now. So let's go for the Sarko saddle. There it is. And guys, we are going to get ourselves over there and have a rocking good time. Oh, yes, we are. I'm excited, my friends. So let's go ahead and put it on the Sarko. There we go. you love to see it. I'm going to go ahead and take everything off my inventory here pretty much. And guys, let's do the comment of the day here. The man says the Sarko is a very good water tame. Although I wouldn't suggest them for caves, they're very good for getting to the bottom of the ocean for resources. You could even use them for bosses. Once again, unfortunately cut off there. So yeah, I had to paraphrase that comment a little bit because it was very, very long. But yeah, that's basically the uh, the bread and butter of it. So yeah, the man, thank you so much for that. And yeah, we will probably wind up utilizing this guy for many, many different purposes. I mean, this guy is level 164. If we could maybe get a female Sarko that's maybe even a higher rank, then we could totally start to breed these guys up. Maybe get some mutations on the go. I must admit, I've never actually expected experimented with, with mutations in Ark Survival Evolved before, so it could be very, very interesting to give a go. So, let's open the gate. Thankfully, we can get through. Oh, 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 never mind. I, oh. <laughs> I basically just chopped my Sarko in half. Oh, goodness me. Well, there we go. And into the ocean we go. Oh, you can go so quick, my friends. Look at this, man. Oh, my gosh. This is so freaking awesome. Like, you can go super deep with these things. So, yeah, look at this, guys. There's, like, oil deposits down at the bottom here, which is really cool. There's, like, ichthyosauruses here as well. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. And, yeah, we've got plenty of things down the bottom that we could probably start picking up, right? You know, things like uh, silica pearls and all that kind of stuff. We just need to watch out for our breath meter. Uh, so, yep, there we go. A little bit of breath for little old me. You'd love to see it. And there we go. If we really wanted to, we could go back down and do whatever the heck we want. So, yeah. It really, really is a very, very good water tape. So, yeah. Thank you so much for uh, letting me know that. Right. I would love to... Oh, wow. Level 95. That's a pretty good start for Stego. Because, uh, guys, I don't know if you remember, but we have an Ascendant Stego saddle, right? So I feel like if we're going to have a top tier Stego saddle, I feel like we're going to need a top tier Stego to go with it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Anyways, the reason I came over here with my Sarko is because the Sarko has a very, very good amount of weight. 438, which is enough to carry, well, quite a lot of uh, metal back, actually. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do here. We're going to hopefully grab ourselves a bunch of metal. The earlier we start grabbing metal, uh, the better things are going to be. Because metal is used for many, many different things in Ark Survival Evolved. It really, really is. So, yeah, we're going to get that thing underway. But first of all, we do have ourselves a loot beam. What have you got for us? A water jar. You know what? I just don't care. Let's just get rid of it. And let's continue on, shall we? Like I say, if we can find a decent level Stego, then we are going to be good to go. Okay, so, oh, there's another Stego down there. Let's have a look at him. Uh, level 90. Okay, pretty good start. Pretty good start. I like it, man. I like it. So, all of these things, they are uh, rich metal rock deposits. So, if we start bashing this thing down, check it out, guys. We're getting a ton of metal. Now, I'm thinking we get ourselves, like, 250. And then we won't be weighing the Sarko down too much to the point where it can't swim super fast in the water anymore. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, let's just keep going here. We're going to get rid of the stone, of course, because we just don't need it. Right, okay, so that's 250. Let's rid the stone. Goodbye. Okay, and then uh, let's see what kind of speed this guy can achieve. Okay, so 275 weight. 
which is now up to 323. Ooh, we could probably get away with another 50 metal, actually. I'm kind of down to do that. Let's give it a go. All right, there we go. Sweet. So how much have we got now? 304? Seems like a pretty good amount to have, my friends. So if we go on this guy... Okay, so yeah, there's definitely a speed decrease. But, you know, in the water, this guy should still be super quick. All right, so that's a level 45, Stego. Uh, what about you? Oh, oh, jeez, I don't mean to do that. Uh, 45, 50. Oh, come on, man. We're looking for 100 plus. Ideally, a 150. That would be absolutely fantastic. Uh-huh. Hello, Bronto. Oh, man, I love Herbivore Island. Herbivore Island is freaking awesome. I always wind up making a base over here simply because there's so many different resource nodes here that it's just awesome. Get it? Awesome? Because there's awesome... Oh, I'm so funny. I'm sorry. That was terrible. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get back to base. And, yeah, it kind of gives me an excuse to finally make the refining forge, I guess. Actually, maybe we need to do some building today as well, right? Because, you know, we haven't got a refining forge, nor do we have space in our current base to do that, right? So, yeah, I think it might be an idea to make the new base today, okay? In fact, you know what? While we're over here, I think it'll be a cool idea to go ahead and maybe rank this guy up a whole bunch. So, there we go. Disable uh, resource harvesting and various bits and bobs. This guy is only, what, level 15, I think? So, yeah, I don't think we need to worry too much about it. 260 damage is the amount we could do. Brilliant. So in terms of what we're going to rank up with this guy, I'm thinking maybe... Uh, whoa, okay, that's a hefty health increase, that is. Wow, okay. So I'm thinking maybe we go up to like 5,000 health. I think the stamina is okay as it is, but then after that, uh, we go for weight and melee damage, okay? Right, what level are you there, Budski? 15, and you're dead. Goodbye. <laughs> you can't take me out of the game. All right, who else wants to go? You want to go, do you? Okay, I can do this thing. I can do this thing all day. I will kill everything. Ha boom And you're dead. Level 15. Oh, hey there, Parasaur. Nice to meet you. Oh, there's an egg down there. I kind of want to pick that up, actually. Hi-ya! Ruined. Oh, you're dead, sucker. You know, it'd be kind of nice if we had, like, an alpha spawn around here, and then we could do some uh, pretty awesome stuff, you know? Get, some, uh, get a whole bunch of levels up. Ooh, it's a trike. Okay, it's a trike egg. Nice! Don't mind if I do. Level 5 Bronto, huh? That's cute. I will ruin you. Why even bother? Why even bother? Why even bother trying to run away? You're oh, he's trying. He's trying it. He's trying it, isn't he? Hey, come on, then. And he's done. <laughs> what a dumbo. Wow, okay, another level up. So, 3150. Wow, it increases the health by nearly 300 per time. That's insane. Okay, we ourselves have a level up as well. So, again, going for weight here. Right. Go away, stupid Bronto body. Okay, time to kick some more butt. Oh, hey there, adorable little Megalodon. Yeah, I'm behind you. Ain't no way you're killing me. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, that's, uh, that's rather a lot of fish right there. All right, we don't need that much. Jeez, man. Hey, you know what would be kind of cool is if we could maybe take down an alpha megalod. Oh, my God. There's like three megalodons in my view right now. All right, baby. I'm going to kick everybody's butt today. Oh, level 35, huh? That's cute. Oh, hey there, Budski. Oh, hang on. This guy might be a little bit... Oh, God. Yeah, maybe we should be a little bit careful in terms of our uh, air supply. I really wasn't paying attention there. This guy's high level. Level 100. <laughs> That's cute. All right, one, two, three. There we go. All right, so we're nearly at our health goal, which is great. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. I kind of I like going on a bit of a ponage session every now and again. <laughs> it's fun, dude. It really is. So, yeah, every now and again, if we need ourselves a bulk of metal, we could just head over to Herbivore Island, grab ourselves 300 units here, or however much we wind up giving to, uh, to, uh, what's his name here? What's your name, buddy? Sammy. There you go. <laughs> I'm so terrible with names as it gets to the point where we get more dinos. It's just going to get worse. It really is. But yeah, every now and again, we could just pop over to Herbivore Island, get ourselves metal, and then away we go. Fantastic. All right. Well, yeah, you're looking pretty good there, buddy. So I'm just going to leave you there. Wait, what's going on with your... 
Oh, right, the health is down because I was increasing your health so much, huh? All right, that's fair enough. All right, Trevor, here's what you're going to do. You are going to move over here, and ladies and gentlemen, we are going to try to uh, plot out the foundations of our brand new, slightly more epic base. And this time, I think we're going to make it out of stone. Oh, man, it's going to take a while to get all of the resources to do this, but oh my goodness, we're going to do this, my friends. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Thankfully, we have very quickly respawning uh, resource nodes, so we don't need to worry too, too much about things. All right, guys, so let's make a bit of a start with this thing, huh? So there's a couple of uh, platforms placed down already. It takes 80 stone per time to do this, so it is a little bit expensive, I won't lie. But the grind, I believe, is going to be more than worth it. So I'm thinking, uh, I don't know, what did we do over here? We did like a 2 by 3 didn't we? Something like that. So maybe what we do here is like a 3 by 4 or maybe even larger than that. I don't know, man. Like, we could do some really awesome stuff around here. Do we make... Oh, okay. So you have to... Uh, do you have to make the greenhouse stuff at the smithy? Uh, requires the smithy. Yeah, okay. Requires metal ingots as well. So it is actually fairly expensive. So at some point, I think it'll be a good idea to get a Beelze Buffo and Anki. So we can start getting resources that bit more easier. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Anyways, for that though, let's get the foundations down. Let's get some walls down. And then I guess we can go from there. Ah, time for some more berry medleys. Yeah, I was starting to get a little bit low, so I had to take Tracy out for a little bit of a resource rampage. And as you can see, this is basically how I've been making all of my food. I just grab Tracy, get a whole bunch of stuff on the go, and then bada bing, bada boom, we're pretty much good. Okay, so blueberries, yellow berries, red berries. Okay, so that's all we're using for our berry medleys. Uh, so there we go. Okay, stim berries were not part of the recipe. Oh, God! Ah! I keep setting myself on fire like a doofus. Jeez, man. I've got to be careful of that. <laughs> oh, I'm such a dummy. Huh. I never knew you could put engram uh, things down here. So you could, like, put things down there. Like, on your hotbar? That's pretty cool. Okay, so when it gets to the point where I have the resources required... Yeah! Then I could just keep pressing 7 or 8 or whatever under the number it's going to be. And then we could just keep getting ourselves resources. Oh man, I wish I had discovered that before. <laughs> oh man, this is going to make creating things so much easier. Now I don't have to keep pressing tab. Oh, that is awesome. I like that a lot. Okay. Yeah. Rapid creation, guys. <laughs> oh, absolutely fantastic. Oh uh -huh, yeah, so I've got a pretty rapid fire building hotbar here. So we press 5 to make the stone... Uh, platform. Six to place them down real nice and quick like. We've got ourselves a nice uh, four by five area here now my friends which is very very nice. And then yeah we've got uh, seven and eight for the walls here. Fan freaking tastic. So I'm thinking maybe what we do is we have ourselves like a two story building here. I think that'd be a pretty awesome idea. Maybe even we could store some small dinos in here. I think that could be a nice idea. Yeah. Okay. Or better still we could have like a dino gateway here to have a bunch of small dinos or whatever utility dinos we're going to wind up using a lot of. In fact, with that said, that's actually a really good idea. Like, for example, we could have Tracy inside of this little area here. So when we need to make ourselves some more berry medleys, we could just take her out and then boom, we're good. Right? Ooh, that's a cool idea, actually. Oh, man, I'm giving myself all the epic ideas today. <laughs> All right, guys, so definitely making some really, really good progress with this base so far. Okay, so there's one of three doors. We're going to have one going into, like, this uh, backyard type thing here. So there's one, and then this one will be going into what I'm calling the dino garage. Okay, so, yeah, any, like, uh, I don't know, what's what I'm looking for? Like, frequently used dinos will go in here, okay? So, yeah, it's going to be kind of awesome. Uh, this bit is probably going to be taller than this bit because, you know, these dinos probably won't need that much much space right so yeah as a result maybe we can go ahead and uh, continue building some of this up i was kind of thinking of putting like a nice triangle roof over the uh, over the dino garage here or garage garage i don't know how you guys say it it's it is what it is i guess but uh, yeah a nice little triangle roof here and then this one will be a taller triangle roof and i'm hoping that i'll be able to maybe get a second story inside of this place as well right i think that'd be a cool idea 
Yeah, this is going to be a proper major base, guys. I'm so looking forward to having it done. Well, I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. Building bases is definitely one of the best ways of getting yourself a lot of XP and a lot of levels up. So, what have we got here? Deoden Saddle. There's the Assault Rifle. A lot of you guys were saying maybe I should actually uh, unlock the shotgun here. It does require being made at the Fabricator, but I don't think that's too much of an issue. Uh, so, we've got, like, the basic shotgun. There's the pump action one. So, yeah. Yeah. A lot of you guys are saying we should try and go for the shotgun here uh, because apparently it's very, very good for taking down, like, the bigger dinos, I guess. So, yeah, anyways, guys, check it out. So, we've got ourselves the motorboat here, if we really wanted. There's the AR, the assault rifle. Uh, we'll go ahead and unlock the uh, the flak chest piece, and then in the coming levels, we'll go ahead and get the remainder of the flak armor, and then I think we will be good, baby. In the meantime, as you can see, I've got the dino gateway in, and then, yeah, that kind of made me realize this actually needs to be a hell of a lot taller uh so yeah it's gonna have to go like way the heck up there huh so i can actually like incorporate the gateway into the base oh boy <laughs> well it turns out i might not be able to use a dino gateway here after all for a very simple reason i can't go ahead and put down walls up like this so i can't get the triangle roof going properly that's kind of annoying hmm so these things, uh, weirdly, they snap to the uh, fence supports as opposed to foundations. So I'm not really sure what to make of that. But uh, I guess, you know, we've got to do what we've got to do. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we just got to just gotta keep our chins up and keep it all going, baby. All right, so what that means... Wait, what does that mean? So, yeah, we can have the roof above here, which I guess is cool. But then, yeah, we just won't be able to have the triangle bits at the front. Eh, I guess I could live without those. When your building gets so tall that you have to place that... Oh, I've got way too much stuff on me, haven't I? Oh, yeah, I won't be able to uh, do much with this. Oh, boy. All right, well, can I ride you with... Nope. Okay. Uh, you you do not seem very fond of uh, wanting to fly here, buddy. All right, get rid of that. Oh, there we go. That did it. Yeah. Yeah. Now I can place these bad boys in. Ah. <sighs> Coolio. Right, can I like... Oh! Oh, no! Oh, that's so sad. God damn it. I was rather hoping to pick up that thatch ceiling before it, uh, before we lost the ability to pick it up. <sighs> Never mind. Oh! I can place these things in. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe now is the time where I can place in the Dino Gateway and it actually work out how it's supposed to work out, right? Oh, this is so cool. If we could get the Dino Gateway in now, I'm going to be so freaking happy. Ah, oh, building an arc is a little bit frustrating, you know, without mods, that is. Uh, but uh, once you start getting used to it, it's not that bad. It's just a learning curve. It really, really is. So, like, when you're used to playing games like Minecraft and Terraria, where building is just sort of unlimited, I guess. Uh, yeah, it can be a little bit straining to learn something like this. But, oh, well, doesn't matter. Uh, right, a little bit more wood. Boop. There we go. And gateway? Wait, where's the gateway? What do we need? We need more wood. Damn it, I need like five more bits. All right. And boop. Do that. Gates, please. Thank you. All right. We're going to do this thing, and I'm hoping that it's going to look decent. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Okay, so here we go. Let's do it from the inside here. All right. So, oh. But then it does that. Okay, but can I... Oh, I can! Yeah, boy! Okay! We've got ourselves... Oh, this is fantastic. The dino garage is complete, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this! Oh my god, this has definitely got to be one of the largest builds I've done to date. Oh, I'm so happy that we got this thing done, man. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, the, the actual regular house is going to hopefully be, like, you know, easy as pie in comparison, to be honest. So, yeah. Guys, let's get the main house done, and then we'll be done, huh? All right, guys, very slowly, but very surely, we're starting to get there. So, yep, the dino garage is done. We now go in here. This is like an under-the-stairs door. We're going up to the second level here. And, guys, check this out. I'm actually going to make, like, a little garden area here. That's what I want to do anyway. So, let's go and place down the door. And then I've got a couple of railings that we could put down here. 
Okay, so now we can, like, look out upon our dominion here. Okay, and then what else have we got going on here? Do we have any window frames? I don't think we do. Okay, window frames. We can make two of them. Okay, so we can at least, you know, look out from within our house, which I think would be really, really nice. So, yep, there we go. And there we go. Yeah, so we could put ourselves like a, a few small crop plots here or something like that. Just just to make it look good, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, looking at this, we only really need a couple more bits now. I'm thinking that we go ahead and maybe place down a wall here and here. There we go. And then this sort of just goes downstairs, which is good. So that's nice and safe now, which is great. And then what do we want to do? Do we want to be able to access the ceiling? Is that something we want to be able to do? Do we need to be able to do that? I don't know. I don't know, man. If I was to do that, I'd make this like a flat roof and then just put railings all around it. And then I think that would look really, really cool. Yeah. All right. Well, today has certainly been a resource intensive episode, ladies and gentlemen, but holy lord, like I've been I've been trying to pluck up the courage to do this build for a long time now, and we're finally doing it, and I'm feeling pretty darn good with the progress. Guys, I will get this done today. I want to get it finished today. All right, guys, let's get this finished, shall we? So we have ourselves a ceiling here. We're going to leave this having sky access. So, you know, whenever we get ourselves rain, it will then irrigate the plants. Uh, so then we need to start placing in all of these here railings. And then, yeah, this top section, we can, like, land ourselves, uh, I don't know, all of our flying mounts, for example, our Tyranodon. I think that'd be a great idea. Uh, so there we go. Yeah, fantastic. All right, so we go downstairs. We've got ourselves a nice little area here we can look out of and plant some plants down. Uh, we've got ourselves some nice areas here, like we could have storage here, maybe a bed or something, maybe storage here. And then we go downstairs and then we can have all of our uh, various, uh, I don't know, uh, crafting stations, fabricator, uh, refining forge, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I think next episode we'll work on the interior for this place, as well as hopefully uh, getting a whole bunch of resources resources under our belt potentially some other dinos as well so yeah guys i can't believe it we've actually got it all done today oh man look at it eh that is a great build i love this build i think it's a fantastic build i really really do so yeah <laughs> what else can I say other than guys thank you very much for watching if you guys have any hints tips or feedback regarding the build we've done today please do leave it in the comments area down below this is definitely my proudest build to date like I mean just look at it there's a good shape to it there's a good amount of different resources to it there's a good amount of texture to it I love it this is definitely my favorite build that I've ever done in Ark. so guys let me know what you think about this in the comments area down below and whether or not you guys think I should add something to it and yeah, guys, hit the like rating if you've enjoyed today's episode. Do be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already as well, so you guys don't miss out on future content. But for now, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys later.